Welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. This is a brand new series where we're gonna take topics and we're gonna attack them under two minutes. I also need your help. Tell me if there's anything that you want to learn specifically that could be covered under two minutes. Drop it in the comment section below and let's roll the intro. Welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. So this video is gonna focus on how to get a real-time playback. We're not gonna focus on the grade. This is shot on Alexa. Here is a Rec. 709, here is your log, and then this is a quick grade that I threw together, okay? So we're not focusing on the color aspect of it. We wanna get a real-time playback. So now my machine is a beast, so it's gonna play through just fine, okay? You see that little green dot? That means I'm getting real-time playback. I have no issues at all. I even have an OFX grain thrown on there and everything is playing back fine. But when I turn on my noise reduction and hit play, all of a sudden the footage chokes. We're close to real time, but we're not there yet. When is this a problem? Especially when you have client in house, okay? So if the client is sitting right there watching it on big screen and this is happening, it's kind of distracting, okay? So to counter that, it's pretty simple. Click on your settings, project settings, under master settings, change your timeline resolution from your native resolution, let's just say 4K here, to 1080p, all right? Now, this is not changing your source resolution. That still stays 4K, so you're not changing that at all. All you're doing is temporarily, you're taking your 4K project and then bringing it down to 1080p so you can do a smooth playback. So now when I hit playback, noise reduction is still there, I'm getting this little green dot, which means I'm getting a real-time playback, all right? It was just that easy to fix this. Again, like I said, it's a lot easier when you have a client in-house and you're going through it, you don't wanna break the flow. Color information stays the same. Yes, the resolution does drop, but that's not an issue. Let's just say everything is approved by the client, you're ready to export. Before you hit export, go back in your project settings, reverse it. Just go back to your native resolution, hit save, Boom. So hopefully that was helpful. If you enjoyed the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness, make some suggestions for future content, and I will see you guys in the next video.